hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video we will learn that how to find the pore water pressure in a consolidated undrained triaxial compression test this is an important question which have been asked in many civil engineering exams so you should try to learn the concept from this question i have been given a question which states that a conventional drained triaxial compression test was conducted on a normally consolidated clay sample under an effective confining pressure of 200 kPa. The deviated stress at failure was found to be 400 kPa. An identical specimen of the same clay sample is isotropically consolidated to a confining pressure of 200 kPa and is subjected to a standard undrained triaxial compression test. If the deviated stress at failure is 150 kPa, we have to find the pore pressure developed in this undrained triaxial compression test so first we will take the specimen first which is uh, in drained condition okay so for this specimen first we are performing the test that is consolidated drainage test in consolidated drainage test we get the effective stress parameters so confining pressure will be effective confining pressure this will be equal to 200 kilopascal deviator stress this is given as 400 kilopascal major principal stress this will be sum of the effective confining pressure plus deviated stress so this will be equal to 200 plus 400 which is 600 kilopascal so major and minor principal stress for this first specimen is 600 kilopascal and 200 kilopascal respectively after that for a specimen second we are performing the test on specimen second on the same actually same clay sample as consolidated undrained triaxial test so in undrained condition we always get the total stress parameter so confining pressure will be uh, total minor uh, principal stress it will be equal to 200 kilopascal deviated stress this is given as 150 kilopascal major principal stress this will be the sum of confining pressure plus the deviated stress which is 200 plus 150 which is 350 kilopascal let us assume that the pore water pressure developed in this undrained condition is U. So effective minor principal stress for the same test, this will be a sigma prime, this is 200 minus U. And effective major principal stress, this will be sigma 1 prime, which is equal to 350 minus U. So for normally consolidated clay, always remember that cohesion that is the C value will be equal to 0. Also from Mohor Coulomb failure criterion, we have this equation that is sigma 1 prime is equal to sigma 3 prime into tan square 45 plus 5 prime divided by 2 plus 2 C tan of 45 plus 5 prime divided by 2. Where this sigma 1 prime and sigma 3 prime, these are effective major and effective minor principal stress respectively. So for clay under drained condition, that is for the specimen first, we have the value of sigma 1 prime as 600 kilopascal and sigma 3 prime as 200 kilopascal and value of C for normally consolidated clay is 0. So we get the equation as 600 is equal to 200 into tan square 45 plus 5 prime divided by 2. Solving this equation, we get tan square in the tan square 45 plus 5 prime divided by 2 is equal to 3 or you can write 10 of 45 plus 5 by 5 prime divided by 2 is equal to 1.732 which gives me 45 plus 5 prime divided by 2 is equal to 10 of inverse 1.732 which is equal to 45 plus 5 prime divided by 2 is equal to 60 degree or you can say that the value of effective angle of friction that is 5 prime this is equal to 30 degree next for the same clay specimen but in consolidated untrained triaxial test again using the mohor coulomb failure criterion for this test putting the value of sigma prime and sigma 3 prime sigma prime for this consolidated untrained triaxial test this is equal to 350 minus u and sigma 3 prime dash for this test is 200 minus u and putting the value of phi prime which will be same because we are taking the same clay specimen so it will be 30 degree so we will get 
350 minus u this is equal to 200 minus u into 3 because the value of tan square 45 plus 30 divided by 2 or simply tan square 60 this is equal 3. So this will be 350 minus u is equal to 600 minus 3u or you can say 2u is equal to 50 or the value of u that is the pore water pressure is equal to 125 kilopascal. So for this uh, test on the same clay specimen but in the consolidated undrained uh, condition the value of pore water pressure developed will be 125 kilopascal. So this is how you can calculate the pore water pressure for the consolidated undrained triaxial test if you have the data from the consolidated drainage test for the same specimen. I hope this solution video was clear and you learned a new concept from this video. If you find my videos helpful, please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.